Hello there, and welcome to Hammerman for today. I don't even know what day it is. May the 22nd. Um, man, it has been a crazy, crazy couple of days. I have just been working around the clock, losing my mind. Fortunately, I had some time to sit back and relax by doing Hammerman, uh, <laughs> which is a weird sensation, because, man. Uh, yes, so... Obviously, stage one, pretty straightforward. Bunch of heavies in front of a bunch of tanks. It, it almost, I'm starting to feel like that's the new black. You know what I mean? Like, every, every stage one ends up with a bunch of heavies with some tanks behind it and some sort of troop mixed in in between the two of them. Sometimes riflemen, sometimes zookas, sometimes warriors. It, like the the random wild card if you would generally no grens but i don't know i i feel like it just happens a little too often to be coincidental i i'm wondering if there's someone out there being like hey like let's do this it'll be fun i don't know why they talk like that because anyways aha aha uh, <laughs> St stage two, uh, pretty pretty standard. Whole bunch of riflemen come up the first round, and then the warriors and the heavies crash down upon thy defenses with holy wrath. Uh, all right, maybe maybe not. Not at this level. Not yet. As you can see, our prototypes, as always, chilling in the back, not doing anything. Um, and that's by design, so don't worry, we're good with that. It's the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I, again, um, I, I think, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure if I mentioned it last week or previous weeks, but generally now when I'm rolling through with the hot pocket and damage amp, because uh, they're so fantastic for the, for the hammerman, I'm rolling a level 3 hot pocket and a level 2 damage amp. I'm not really doing the, the number 3 anymore. Uh, just to save some prototype parts because, yeah, why not, right? Also, I try to mix in a third prototype uh, of miscellaneous type and level. We'll, we'll see where we get with that. Um, I know what's baking, but you don't. Ah, it's a secret. Look it. Uh, no, I'll, I'll totally, <laughs> I'll totally drop the bomb. I don't care. Spoiler alert! It's a. Uh... Anyways, um, stage three, pretty, pretty standard. They are breaking out the Grens, uh, which is interesting because it seems like the Grens come out on stage three for the first time uh, on, on most Hammermans. Like I, I honestly cannot remember ever seeing Grens on stages one or two. Uh, maybe it's happened. I'm sure it probably has, but just like in memory, like things that I recall, which isn't a lot because <laughs> uh, the beard don't got snow memories. Is um, but yeah, I feel like, I don't know, the Grens, the earliest I ever see them is three. I don't know if that's by design or if that's just coincidental or if it happens and I just don't remember it. Or all of the above. Who knows? For all I know, it could be a conspiracy by the NSA to wiretap Dr. T. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess it depends on if the acapella goes part of this... I don't know where where it would be. It's kind of tropical, so it's definitely got to be somewhere further south than Canada. Uh, but let's face it, that's like 90% of the world, so... <laughs> Alright, not 90%, like 75%, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it's obviously somewhere tropical. Has anyone ever actually, like, traveled down this rabbit hole? I don't know if I necessarily want to, but... Does, has anyone ever speculated as to where the archipelago is located or like I don't know maybe there have been hints like uh, especially with like message in a bottles which I still haven't gotten any of them I'm just saying it's supposed to be a random spawn on my beach I check my beach every time I load into my base never got a freaking bottle just saying 
Uh, but, like, I don't know if maybe some of those messages might be giving away things, like, oh yeah, you know, it kind of implies that it's here or there or everywhere, uh, or if it's just, like, nowhere in particular. Obviously, it's good, at, like, the, the, the supercell stance, I don't know, the, the corporate, like, oh, well, it's nowhere because, you know, you don't want to have to worry about copyrights and stuff, and I, I get that, like, it's obviously a fictional place, it's not supposed to actually be anywhere, but if it were somewhere, where would it end up? That's that's kind of what I'm getting at, because I'm curious, I'd, I'd almost like to know, like, you know, I, I'd like to picture it like you go down to Mexico and you make a quick stop by the archipelago and you blow some things up, because I'm assuming they have incredibly lax uh, laws on, on weaponry, like, come on, if you can own a bazooka, just saying. Great place to visit. Like, go to the gun range. Oh. <laughs> you blew the gun range up. Whoa. Also, like, Dr. T seems to have a lot of uh, weapons that I don't think they'd even get, you know, past the... What is it? I guess uh, the, the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms ATF? There we go. I, I feel like some of Dr. T's stuff, like the Mega Crab, could the Mega Crab really get past the the ATF? Just saying. I feel like someone would raise an alarm over that. Be like, you know, I think we're going to have to classify that in with automatic assault rifles as inappropriate. So, yeah. But hey, what, what do I know, right? Uh, obviously, I'm also guessing, like, taxes in the archipelago probably pretty low. I, I, I'm picturing a lot of, like, offshore investors being brought in for the, you know, economy. Because Dr. T strikes me as the kind of dude who would have a lot of money just kind of, like, squirreled away from, from investments and whatnot. You know, maybe, maybe doing some shadier things. Same thing with Hammerman. Hammerman, and obviously the trader. Like, come on, the trader? Total black market. I'm just saying. So obviously the trader, black market, needing somewhere to like launder money, boom, it's the archive. I'm just, you know, going uh, on a tangent. All right, let's bring it back. Like, the, you're here for the Hammermans. Uh, stage, whatever this happens to be, I, I want to say that it's uh, the Hammerman Stage 6. As you can see, I am getting just thumped. Uh, by all of the heavies and the riflemen and all of the things. And I'm just going to kind of fast forward to loop everything around because that's actually quite a lot of troops and they're backed up by um, the medics and then they come around and hit the hot pocket and you can see what happens to the everything. Uh, it really worked out super nicely. Honestly, the hot pocket and damage amp were sitting where they were completely by accident. I just kind of like threw them in there because I was like, yeah, this is far enough back. It's not going to matter. They're going to be out of the way. Everything will be cool. And then it turns out the Hot Pocket and Damage Amp had to save the day on stage six. Um, I, I'm sure with like some care more careful placement and like a little more effort, I, I could have made stage six happen, but instead we get to watch this heavy take a pee on my HQ for an incredibly long period of time. And I'm just saying, like, it does not look like that's coming out of the gun. I, I almost feel, like, insulted by Hammerman's troops, like, clearly troll move right there. Moving on. Ah, oh, look at that, the third prototype. It's another hot pocket. Uh, the reason for that is because my one hot pocket is about to wear out, so the other hot pocket was kind of queued up and just sitting there waiting to happen, and I was like, well, it's there, I guess I might as well use it, and use it I did, because this stage 7 was incredibly tough. Uh, compared to, like, some of the stage 7s we've seen recently, I felt like this stage 7 really, like, pushed me. Like, I had to actually put forth a little bit of effort and, like, you know, I couldn't just, like, one-shot everything. Now, maybe I was unlucky with my placement or maybe I was just stupid or... I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm not worried about it. The point is, uh, it was fun. I, it definitely made me work uh, a little harder, which is 
kind of a good thing. I, you know, if it's too easy, it gets boring. It's good to have a little bit of challenge in your life. Now, if it hadn't broke the bank, that would have been even better, but, like, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, as you can see, I've kind of done the reverse of my previous base where I looped around the right hand side. Now, just because of the placement of my base and I've changed things up, I was like, eh, you know what? It really makes sense to move it more and have them go around the left hand side. Um, and, and it worked out pretty good, I feel. It, it, I got done what I needed to get done. But, oh man, did I ever start sweating right about here. As you can see, the only thing standing is a, I don't know, is that is that shock launcher? I, I feel like the shock launcher is getting hit by the damage amp. So I've got one damage amped shock launcher. And you can see there's a bunch of riflemen and grens rolling around towards my HQ. I just kind of threw my HQ there to get it out of the way. And I, I was just like looking at it thinking, oh man, there's a minute left. And then this happened. That's right, the rifleman walked into range of the shock launcher. You can see it just devastating the vast majority of them. And then that last rifleman is just out. Fortunately, we get the win, so that's cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And above all else, of course, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.